Hey everyone, last video for Fantastic Contraption, I showed off our companion cameras and our smoothing function that we have there, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a simpler uh, walkthrough today of our field note system. Um, because we're making a virtual reality game and so few people in the world have virtual reality hardware, it's really hard to get testers. Uh, so we really want to encourage getting feedback as much as possible. It's all too frequent for someone, even a friend or another developer, to play our game and not actually give us the feedback. Like they wait until they see us next, until they tell us what's going on. So to help encourage giving us feedback faster, we've built this Field Notes dialog box. Now this Field Notes dialog box doesn't show up in the virtual reality headset. It's only on your computer screen. And it allows you to just, you know, type up whatever and you can either take these notes and hit save to disk and that's kind of save the notes for yourself you know if you wanted to uh, uh, just take notes for your own personal use but there's also an email devs button and you can see it just immediately fires it off and it, we use the label email, but it doesn't really email us. And I'll show you what this actually does. Uh, so we have two different systems here, save to disk and email devs. I'll show you the uh, save to disk. I'll post this code later so you don't have to read it all right now in the video. Uh, just check the video description for a link to the source code on everything I'm about to show you here. This just takes the text field and it just dumps it to disk in like a TXT file and that's it. Like really, really simple, right? I was a little bit trickier with the uh, email devs button though. Emailing the devs is a little bit uh, tricky because you don't have uh, necessarily a mail server on the local computer, right? So what we, I ended up doing is I actually made a Google form and you can punch in your name, your email address, you can type in some feedback or your IP address, just hit submit. But the tricky thing is, is you can actually fake the HTTP post request from Unity. So you can see I've taken all these like public, these aren't secret, these public, like that's the form ID. This is your name, the, you know, uh, this name text box here on the Google form is this is the ID number for that. And you get that by just viewing the source of the form in the HD, HTML. And you could just take all these uh, bits of data. And then what we do is you just use uh, Unity's www form to create a new form object. And you just submit that through Unity's www request. And it just posts the form instantly and it works great. And it's it's awesome, it's, it's so great. I actually went a little step further as well. If you fail to send the form because you're offline or you're at you're at a conference and the internet went down or something like that, it actually saves the the text to a file. And then the next time you start the game, I have a coroutine that just iterates through everything you have in the saved folder and tries to resend it. That way if you send us if you try to send us notes and you're offline or whatever, if anything prevents you, you can still like the, the information isn't lost. It's never lost to the world. Uh, it always gets stored in your hard drive and it just attempts to resend over and over and over again. You can see right now in my pending send folder is empty and in my field notes folder, here's three different notes that I've written and that is the note that I just saved. So yeah, that works great. Uh, and next, another thing that we uh, ended up doing is uh, we have we use Slack on our team to communicate with each other. And the Slack integration um, actually monitors the Google Form database and lets us know when uh, someone's made a post. And you can see, there it is right there, bam. It's, uh, as you can see, it's a few minutes slow. So yeah, it shows up in Slack uh, in, almost immediately and lets us know everyone uh, some feedback for the game which is pretty great. Like we don't have to go into Google Drive and like open up the spreadsheets and then like take a look at who's posted when, you know, which we have a bunch of feedback in here, but it's, uh, it's a pain to go to the spreadsheet to check it out. So that's it. That's our, that's our quick little system. Um, it's super quick and easy to implement. 
It only took me like a few minutes to write the code to make this work. So uh, yeah, check the show notes and I will post the source code. If you want to use it in your project, feel free. This will help you make better games. This will help you collect more feedback. This will help you just, it'll help. Please use it. Please use it. It's great. It's wonderful. Um, Even if you hide it in an option menu somewhere, yeah, try it out.